Hello everyone, uh, this is Zodiac, and this is a bit of a different video than what I'm normally accustomed to doing, but one that I've been wanting to work on for some time now. Uh, this is going to be a study, real, real quick, of the units that we first got as seven stars back in the beginning of August and how well they're stacking up three months later. And I was just going to briefly touch on each one and see right now who's surviving, I guess you could say, the test. So we'll start with part one with Lunith. Um, Lunith doesn't come with any elemental attacks, but he does have a decent weapon spread. I would say his super TMR is definitely worth getting with the attack of 45 and the fire, water, wind, and earth resistances of 30%. Other than that, though, the only use I could see him for is with the closer. He's kind of fallen out of favor lately for other units that can just chain since he doesn't have any chain families to go with. But unfortunately, it looks like this unit currently isn't seeing much favor in the meta. Up next is Lightning. Uh, Lightning has gotten a bit of a damage upgrade, of course, with Aurora Scarf. And her Super TMR, the Omega Weapon, is respectable. It's a sword with 176 attack, non elemental. Worth getting. Uh, Lightning does have a chaining partner with Titus in regards to the Quick Hit family with her Endless Army attack. And she does have a 100% lightning elemental debuff that you've seen in several of my videos before that allows units such as Hyo or Olive or anyone that's lightning elemental to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, those are about the only applications I've seen with lightning so far. So unless something is weak to lightning or unless you're wanting to exploit a lightning elemental debuff or chaining with Titus, I don't see her really sticking around too much longer for the meta. Moving on, Olive. All right, very quickly, all I'll say about Olive is Super TMR with a Gun Mastery and Machine Killer is built almost specifically for her, but Attack 40 and Machine Killer on any unit is good. If you're running up against a mech or a machine and it's weak to lightning, you just go to Olive every time. Uh, she does have a Fire Lightning Elemental Debuff 100, but it requires it that she sack herself. But and she was an absolute star for the Omega trial that we had. Other than that, though, unfortunately, she's kind of fallen out of favor now that Hyo is in the meta and there's a, like two Thunder Elemental Great Swords out there now. But if it's a machine and it's weak to lightning, call in Olive, she'll do wonders for you. So, still playable, but more or less niche these days. Uh, moving on, Ramza. Uh, Ramza. Has a decent super TMR with a scooch on. Defense and spirit 60 with HP up and all elemental resist 20. That's an outstanding shield as far as I'm concerned. But unfortunately, his buffs, especially Hero's Rhyme, is not even worth mentioning anymore. It, it's completely overridden by anything Maritime Strategist Nickel can do. Uh, his ability to double break is still very good. However, as far as buffs and utility, Zargabath has him well beat. As far as barriers, Ayaka has not beat there too. Unfortunately, this is another unit that's probably going to fall out of meta just simply due to power creep. Seabreeze Dark Fina, uh, all I'll say on her is very nice super TMR. You don't see too many whips with 163 magic and all elements. Uh, it's, it's an absolute monster for arena. Uh, I would congratulate anyone that's got it. More water caster based, so if you're going up against anything that's weak to water, you'll get wonders done here. So if you have like Titus with Brotherhood, you can maybe team up with her, do some extra water damage. The only problem is ever since the seven star meta has been released, I can't think of too many <laughs> actual trial bosses that was weak to water. So again, kind of niche, but in the very beginning when you only had basically her and Dark Fina, she was our casters. Unfortunately, kind of taken out of the meta now that Trans Terra is kind of pretty much doing her thing. Very briefly mentioning Delita that, yeah, if you want to increase your attack 80% with that super TMR, great. Otherwise, trash unit. Moving on. Uh, part two was starting off with Orlando. Uh, I would say out of the units, he is still very prominent in the meta because he chains with Hyo, who is one of the best units in the game currently right now. His... Um, T Super TMR, Thunder God Sword, which you've probably seen me use a couple times, 
an amazing great sword with 174 attack and light. It just goes right into his alley. And if I don't have to use them, I hand it off to another unit and they use it. Absolutely outstanding. His um, cooldown ability every four turns just devastates anything that's weak to holy if you've got that sword equipped. The limit break is also amazing for Arena, especially with his TMR equipped. So as far as Arena goes, still playable. Uh, still has some future use in the meta. He's not the top tier damaging unit right now, but he's still very prominent. So we'll go ahead and say that he's somewhat future proof. Um, Dark Knight Cecil. As far as his super TMR, Dark Sword Arts, if you're packing a single weapon, you're going to do good. But unfortunately, unless you're fighting humans and anything weak to Dark, Dark Knight Cecil won't do much for you. And of course, since most demons are dark elemental and most undead is dark elemental, and matter of fact, just about everything in here resists dark or is dark elemental, Dark Knight Cecil just really isn't going to do much for you. <clears throat> Gilgamesh. I'd say out of all the units that we got in the first round, this guy was all over the place. He had buff moves. He had debuff moves. He could pass off limit breaks. He could jump. He could do silly stuff. He could equip everything. He got passives against certain monsters. You got to where if he equipped certain numbers of Genji gear, he got higher stats. The only problem was he just was all over the place. You couldn't find a use for him. I, I've used him in some of my videos for just passing off limit breaks or breaking, but other than that, I'd say the Genji helm is well worth getting. 45 attack. Got some dark resist and some absolute stats ailment immunities. But as far as the uh, length of the meta, Gilgamesh is pretty much out of favor right now. You've got better breakers and better buffers. And he just, even with all his passives, he doesn't bring enough damage to being out there. And even to really full, fully utilize that, you got to activate his limit break with the Genji Glove on. And yes, Excalibur does chain in Orlando's family, but it still takes you a at least two turns to get there, assuming the limit break doesn't fill on turn one. Sadly, this guy probably isn't going to be meta playable in the future. I'm still going to find ways to use him because I'm a big fan of the character himself, but just don't see a future for him. And now, the elephant in the room, Wilhelm. Wh I'm not going to sit here and list all the good things that he can do because we all know how good he is. He is the best seven-star physical tank in game. He can cover. He can single provoke. My beef is he doesn't have any stop charm or any of those immunities. And he only comes with 50% stats immunities, but with certain material like Seed of Hope. Or if you were successful enough in beating the Marlboro trial, stats ailments ain't much of an issue. He's got excellent cooldown abilities, and with the right gear, this guy can pretty much tank and take almost everything you want. You can full evasion build him. You can give him as much HP as you want, defense, spirit, all around. Excellent character. Probably the most future-proof for a while. Uh, Dark Fina. Uh, this was the second caster that we got. Uh, she does have wind and earth as some of her higher tiered elemental attacks. Uh, she does have Tornado, I believe, so she can chain in the Tornado family. Uh, her TM, Super TMR is a very nice robe, but is exclusive to females only. So obviously if you got this for Trans Terra, uh, it's gonna look very devastating once she starts putting up numbers, which brings me to my next point. Trans Terra right now is just beating her out in so much damage. Uh, that's what happens when you're a first, you know, you're you're one of the first casters coming into the seven star meta. You're gonna get power creep within a month or two, and that's what's happened to Dark Fina right now. Still very playable for Arena with some of her status ailments, and especially the magic getting around the hundred percent evasion builds. But unfortunately, I just don't see a future for Dark Fina unless something is weak to darkness. She does, however, I will say, with her cooldown ability, one hundred point twenty percent dark resist will work very well with Trans Terra's, you know, Shadow Flare ability. But, again, just falling out of meta. And last but not least, Marie. Um, her Super TMR, Original Arrival, all elemental resist 30%, and 50% Spirit when equipped with a staff. 
slap this on any support unit, caster, Jargabath, doesn't matter who it is, or even your magic tank. It's a very good super TMR. However, Marie is, she's only got two, like one very good ability. That's where she gives everybody 100% elemental resist, 200% defense, 200% spirit, and 50% outright damage mitigation on turn. The only time you'll ever consider using all of for that is when you're threshold pu pushing. You'll pop that, hit a threshold, and the enemy will try to do whatever it will to you, and your group's going to survive most of it. So, after analyzing all those units, which I believe was 11 in total, well, 12, yeah, 11, 12, it looks like so far the future-proof units for the time being is Orlando and Wilhelm. With some of the niche, more niche units being like Lightning, uh, and I would say Olive, and on a very odd niche, I guess Dark Knight Tesla if you're fighting humans. And Gilgamesh can still do some very jank support, but he's going to get outclassed by everybody else. So, yeah, I just I just kind of wanted to do this quick video just kind of show how far we've come within the last three months of the meta. And I'm thinking maybe next month I'll probably do one regarding the second batch that we got, and we'll kind of compare that with the current units that we'll have out by then. So, as always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and I might continue doing these in the future. So, until then, take care.